What's up, boys? I got my cat in the corner, little Nebula. My chest. So anyway, I originally was just meditating outside, and I was just looking around at people. And some people were looking up at me on my balcony meditating. I think some of them were laughing at me as well. So I had to double check my glasses because I can't see without glasses. I was doing it without glasses. And <laughs> some of them were laughing at me, but then I looked at them, they looked at me, I looked at them, they started laughing, they started snickering. Look at that guy. I just looked at these guys, and they looked like, I don't know if they were coming back from a football match or something, but these guys looked like people I would not want to live the lives. I would not want to have the lives that these guys laugh at me. These guys that were laughing at me, from what I could see, from what I could tell, the, the way they view themselves they were laughing at me for meditating and being on my spiritual path and you know and trying to improve myself improve my focus improve my mind and they were the ones laughing at me but I, I looked at them but and they were the ones who are in worse positions apparently to me I, I just followed my words heavily there but none of that shit just made sense oh, I gotta what the fuck Those that laugh at you are those that are insecure and those that are, for the most part, not really living better lives than you are. The people that will give you advice, people that will laugh at you, people that berate you, people that will tell you what to do, usually they're not, you know, living great lives themselves. Like, think about the education system, harking back to that. A lot of teachers will tell you what to do and tell you to go to university and do what they did and rack up that debt and... <laughs> get a job at a really good company even the business teachers will tell you that but they're broke and they're raging alcoholics I remember I was my primary school teacher before one of my primary school teachers she when I was at least like a, a good few months ago now but when I saw her again she had been like a raging alcoholic and she's a primary school teacher she deals with kids I'm pretty sure there was an ongoing rumor when I was sitting in the school that she didn't really like kids she was doing it for the money and I could tell that she didn't like kids she didn't want to be a boss you know because a lot of these teachers they end up they grow up they grow up and they end up not having really power over anyone in their lives and then they become teachers so they can boss around kids and they make kids cry and shit some fucked up shit like that and <laughs> I saw this firsthand, like, I shared a bag from Iceland full of wine and alcohol, beer and shit. I'm just thinking to myself, bro, she, she's obviously broke, she's not affluent. She's not literally li living a life that many would envy. She's a raging alcoholic, and all she does is boss around kids all day, and that's just her life. And I'm just thinking to myself, that's, that's the type of person that will give you advice, that's the type of person that will laugh at you. I will tell you, oh, don't stop that business. Don't don't be ambitious. Don't be don't be the person that wants to break the mold in their family. That person that will time you out and make you cry. I used to be a crybaby. I used to cry all the time when I got timed out. Teachers would do that, and I think in in a weird sadistic way, in a weird sadistic masochistic way, they would they would enjoy it watching kids cry. Seriously, I don't feel any remorse. I, don't feel, I have a pretty sharp memory. I don't feel. I don't think there's any like, remorse in my mind when I think about it. And that's why I'm reading this video. Jeffries will laugh at you. Jeffries will laugh at you. The average Joe will laugh at you. Peons will laugh at you. Hate never comes from above. It always comes from below. Think about that. It, it, it never comes from above. It always comes from below. That's something in my eye. This is me. When I came off that meditation, like I said before, I couldn't really find words. I couldn't really speak in coherent speech, but I was looking at them, they were looking at me. I was on my meditation spiritual journey. I was trying to increase my focus. I was trying to increase my memory and trying to increase my, my presence and my state of mind with meditation. And these guys who were raging alcoholics, who were fat, 
unhealthy, in sh- un- not in shape, quite ugly. Football fans, what are you talking about, lads? Sports fans, while well, they were watching me meditate, improve myself, and laugh, they're the ones living quite unbearable lives. If I, if I had such lives, then I'd be pretty sad and depressed. One of them who was looking at me, laughing at me, I literally just saw him vomit. I wish I'd taken a video on this so you guys could believe me. Because then I have a video of proof, but I saw him like, vomit in, in a corner, some alleyway, for a good 15 minutes, just vomiting his heart out. And then he had the audacity to look at me and laugh at me. What on earth is wrong with these people? Your priorities are completely messed up. Probably fucking broke. If they're rich, I'm sure, but. If you're rich and you're fat and you're vomiting midday, that's not a football game. You've got some serious priorities to make. He never comes from above, always comes from below. Jeff will, Jeffries will laugh at you on your journey, your friends will laugh at you on your journey. A lot of time when I was starting my fitness journey, a lot of people, my media friend group, they started making fun of me. Being on that Sigma male grinder, they always make fun of me being on that Sigma male grinder for grinding is too hard. Or working on the business, working on the, the fitness journey, really being work orientated, goal orientated, focused, driven. And only until like a year after, when they see results off of me, when I'm making money, when I'm getting to better shape, when I fit my face, my entire like, face was different, then they have some respect for me. Your Jeffrey friends will laugh at you. Your average Joe friends will laugh at you. And it's completely like apparent, especially after secondary school. Some like I remember I was with my friend before, and I don't use speech often because I don't speak in like a a what bro type of language. I think it's quite vulgar, disgusting. But he said to me, said something to me that was very, very interesting. This guy that I linked, uh, for, that I had not talked to a while, but I linked. After, he said, some man never change after secondary. Some man never change. <sighs> some people just stay the same. It's quite, quite a shame to see. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.